Our crops are being damaged by pests and diseases. Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, aims to suppress pests and diseases below the economic threshold, while respecting environmental considerations as much as possible. IPM uses a whole set of tactics, including the use of chemical crop protection. However, the use of chemical crop protection in agriculture and horticulture is becoming more and more restricted. Nature has its own methods to protect plants against pests and diseases. Naturally occurring enemies attacking insects, bacteria, fungi and viruses, which potentially cause damage in plants. This results in a natural balance. These natural enemies exist in all kinds of forms. The natural enemies of pest insects can be predators, parasitoids or pathogens. The natural enemies of pathogens are antagonistic bacteria, fungi and viruses, which suppress the growth and activity of the plant pathogens. Cropping systems often lack sufficient enemies, leading to crop damage. Fortunately, we're able to develop biological control products from the naturally occurring enemies. After collecting, selecting and multiplying the best performing natural enemies present in their natural environment, we're able to develop them into biological control products. Farmers and foresters can buy and apply these products to protect their crops in an environmentally sustainable way. The range of biological control products remains limited today at just 3.5% of the total global crop protection market. Yet the market for these products is growing by 15% every year. The EU project BioComs is currently developing 11 new biological products to control pests and diseases in agriculture, horticulture and forestry alongside new technologies for the production of beneficial viruses and nematodes against pests. More information about the research, results and expectations with respect to the development of these products and technologies is available on www.biocoms.eu.